Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a sherry. Call me like a sherry. The boy done switched up on you. First time this channel, run over that subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go and take for the team. Comment like a share and go and take for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come in like a share. Okay, you gotta check this out. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Come on, fan. Come on, fan. How y'all doing today? You got over to the side. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is gonna help us out because, baby, we finna get to eating. Y'all know this is my favorite. A number water in Big Ben. Let's see if he's nice refreshing. Uh, here's. So, how y'all doing today? How's y'all doing? How's y'all doing? How's y'all doing? Today, for the food, y'all eat. We got some spinach over here. We have plenty of onions in it. Over here on this side, we got some pigs over here. And we have got our diced cooked tomatoes over here. I got my pink salt. And also over here, I got my lip hot sauce. And if you like your bottle of lip sauce, squeeze and blue. Hit that link right there and you can get your lip sauce off. And my Okay, that's probably gonna be the thumbnail right there. Okay, you guys, today my stomach is not the best, okay? So, I'm gonna put some of my hot sauce on here to begin with and everything. Um just to make sure I have enough heat to it. But baby, we got some Louisiana over here and we got some Texas Pete over here to the side. I ain't been back to the store to get me no more out of um, France. So that's what we got today. All right, let's get to this, some of this spinach over here. Oh, y'all, this spinach uh, is out of a can. It's from Glory Greens. And Glory Greens normally have some pretty good products. So let's see what it's working with. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. -hmm. It's seasoned really good. That's why I had the pink salt for to make sure it had no salt in it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, y'all. Mmm. Let's get us some of these tomatoes out here. Because we're going to need them. We know that. Right? Right. All right. Let's get them out here, honey. And get us some hot sauce. Some hot sauce. Oh, baby, I dropped my fall. Jesus. Y'all, I dropped my fall, honey. That's all right. Let's get us some hot sauce up here. The Cario told me, oh, who was it? I think it was the Cario. Somebody told me last week, said, okay, now we didn't have a lot of pictures. Now, where's the pig ears at? Here you go, honey. Here you go. You know it wouldn't be long. Here you go. Here you go. I kind of feel like I haven't had them in a long time, though. For real, for real, for real. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, that's the first bite of the pig here. Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 Like I said, y'all, my stomach is the best thing. <laughs> I was kind of scared. Mm. Mm. That they were going to be agitated. And I wasn't gonna be able to shoot the video. But it came on through, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. I just don't wanna um you know put too much hot stuff down there. Mm. And agitate even further. Because you can't get agitated, honey. Mm-hmm. So I got a little 
not so hot, these two not so hot hot sauces up here to the side. They help me out with these. Mmm, 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 mmm. However, we do have a really, really good topic of the day. Mmm, 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 mmm. Very, very good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. As a content creator, you guys, people contact us all the time. Um, well, let me talk about me. People contact me all the time about things, about different problems. Because people see, um, you know, ooh, people see me talking about different things and they know that I take, um, you know, some some of the topics that people send me and I help them work through whatever it is or, or try my best to help them work through whatever it is that they got going on. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, it's easy to talk to someone who, for lack of better words, that you feel like is in your own situation or say for instance like, mm, mm-hmm. It's easier to talk to things sometimes or talk to someone sometimes that ain't got it all right. And say if they don't have it all right. Don't mind not having it all right. But know that there's a God that can fix it out. Sometimes it's easier to talk to someone like that than someone who um, feels like they got it all right and want to talk down at you and tell you what to do, as opposed to trying to understand what you're going through, where you are. You know what I mean? Mm. There's a lot of people, especially in the spiritual realm, that they judge you for who you are, what you're doing, what goes on in your life. So people always or um, don't always feel comfortable with talking to spiritual leaders or you know things as such or even me myself and I I really don't believe mm, 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 in counseling and I know a lot of people gonna say well counseling helped me counseling done this counseling done that gotta get that but me myself and I if to resolve problems, if all this needs is a conversation, why do you have to pay money <laughs> to have a conversation with somebody that's already there with you? I don't get it. But it does help people. I'm not saying counsel is not a good thing. I'm just saying to me, myself and I, if a conversation is what's going to resolve an issue between two people, I ain't got to pay nobody. I can have a conversation. I can talk very fluently without having to pay somebody to hear what I got to say. If, if because it's not the person that you're talking to that has to hear uh, what you have to say. I mean, it not the, the counselor that needs to hear what you have to say anyway. It's the person that you're trying to work things out with. You know what I mean? If it is a counseling session, like a marriage counseling session or whatever. I understand that it's a one-on-one -on -one internal problem. I understand counseling in, but stuff like marriage counseling, stuff like that, which I know that it has to work for people. I'm just saying for me, I think that if me and my husband are having problems and we need to need counseling, that's something that we could do. We can counsel each other. Anyway, let me go on what I'm trying to say. Let me go on what I'm saying anyway. So, mmm, mmm, mmm. The one thing that probed this was if you go into counseling, y'all, or if you're going to your spiritual leader, and you feel like what you're being judged, you feel like you can't really get help because you're too ashamed of your past or what you've been through or in your life to really open up. Because in order to get something out of the, uh, of, out of counseling, when you're talking to anybody, I don't care if it's me, I don't care if it's your, your, your minister, your preacher, your bishop, or 
or somebody that you don't even know that you just paid off a line uh, to help you with whatever issue that you're having. The only way that works is if you open up y'all and tell 100% the truth. Most people in life have a hard time doing so. Which falls into a conversation we've had many, many times before about you cannot let people hold you hostage in your past. You can't do that. And don't hold yourself hostage in your past. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody on this earth proud of everything they ever done. Okay? Everybody got a few skeletons in their closet. Some more than others. But the thing about it is, them. I guess the easy way to say what I'm saying. Mm. Mm, 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 good. I guess the easy way of saying what I'm saying, y'all, is don't discount your test that creates your testimony. Hey, that was a word. Hey. Don't discount your test mm. that produces your testimony. Yes, mm -mm 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 -mm. <coughs> sir. Don't discount your test that creates or produces your testimony. Do you know how many people it is in the world that are going through the same thing you're going through? Been down the same roads had the same circumstances maybe not exactly the same but in the same lane mm -mm -mm -mm. that need to hear your testimony your testimony might be the very testimony that brings somebody to God or that saves somebody's life mm -hmm. it, very, it very well may be so don't discount your test that produce your testimony. Don't do that. We all have a past. Like I told you guys before, I have struggled with drugs. I have struggled um, with a whole lot of things in my life. I've been arrested before. It's a whole lot of things that have went on in my life that I'm not proud of. But like I told you before, because it's my business, I may not tell the whole world, but there's going to be no shame of it either. Mm. I mean, I'm ashamed of it either. It is what it is. We all have to learn and live to grow, to become closer to God and be the people that we ultimately want to be. Mm hmm. That takes practice. Because we all have a different makeup. What's important to me may not be important to you. What's important to you may not be important to me. You know what I'm saying? But all is down here, number of tests. That's all it is. So, you can't discount your test that can produce your testimony. Because the testimony is needed. The testimony is needed. Mm hmm. Y'all, this water is good. Don't forget, if you're still going with me, nothing but water for 30 days on the Lift Channel, y'all. We're going strong. But anyway, like I was saying, y'all. Do you know a lot of people in life need you to unconsciously, they need your testimony. They need your testimony to give them permission or give them the courage to do what they need to do to get their life together. If you discount your test, you may be afraid to tell it. Everybody wants to be perfect. Everybody wants to look perfect. Everybody wants to... Um, you know, appear to be got it all together. Everybody do. Or most people anyway. You know what I mean? You you hardly ever find people that will give you the real. You know the real. You know, they want to sugarcoat this. They want to sugarcoat that. A lot of people without your testimony, they'll never street and, I mean, blah, blah, blah. they would never strive in order to make their lives better. Without your testimony, without your testimony, I told you guys before, like with this channel, right? 
me being a happily married gay man with a child, with a daughter, on YouTube. Of course, you know I knew that there was going to be a lot of backlash behind that. There was going to be a lot of people that was like, they don't have a lot to say. However, me being the person that I am and being on YouTube, being proud, being free of who I, being free and true to who I am, my life, my testimony. You don't have to be perfect to love God. You definitely don't have to be perfect for God to love you because he knew you weren't going to be perfect. Do you know how many people there is out there in the world? How many times I've told y'all over and over again that people contact me that don't feel like they're worthy of God's love because they're gay? Do you know how many people I've helped realize that their light doesn't have to be dimmed because of their sexuality? You know what I mean? But if I had a discount in my own test, if I had been saying in my own life, I was afraid to keep it real on my videos. Do you know how many people would still be in darkness? Or not loving themselves as God loves them? Or loving themselves the best they can themselves? You know how many people that would be? So, don't ever discount your test. That produces your testimony. Because the testimony is needed. The testimony is needed. That's, one, that's the reason why. Uh, when, if you are a church goer. Or whatever. You know people get up and testify. Because they have a testimony to tell. About the goodness of what God has done for them. That's why that is. That's why people get up. Outside of you know giving God the glory. It is to allow other people to understand. That your testimony is powerful. Your testimony helps other people. It helps other people. It gives other people, unconsciously, it gives other people the right to know that it's going to be all right. Or that they can do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It does. Your testimony helps other people. It helps other people. But if you discount your test, if you're ashamed of your test, if you're ashamed of where you, who you are, where you've been, and what you've been through, what is the testimony worth? What is it worth? Don't discount your test. If it wasn't for your test, you wouldn't have a testimony. If it wasn't for your test, you would even if, if you've gotten better. If, and I often use street workers, y'all. And that is because that's the first thing that always pops in my head. What if there were no reformed street workers? What if there weren't anybody that was strong enough? Or just say drug addicts. We're going to use street workers. Let's say drug addicts. What if there were no drug addicts that had the strength to stand up and say, I was a drug addict and this is how I recovered? Mm hmm Where do you think the 12-step program came from? It was a testimony. Of how somebody got over drugs. You know what I'm saying? Just like recovery groups, alcohol anonymous, or grief, uh, 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 grief counseling, or group uh, grief groups, or those type of things. All those things are nothing but testimonies of other people. What is work for them? You're build, uh, working, you're giving you the strength amongst others in your life situation for you to have the courage enough to get it out. You listen to their testimonies and what worked for them and how much they hurt and how much they went through so that you can get it out and work on these things. But if you discount your test and don't be able to keep it real and tell people exactly what's going on and how it is, what is the testimony word? What is it word? You can't discount your test. Your past, your life, that is what 
everything, good and bad, especially the bad. That's what builds your character. The test that you went through, that's what makes you the person today. That makes you want to be different in the test that you were back then. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I said that right, but the test that you went through as the person that you didn't want to be, or that now that you are a different person, you're ashamed of, why be ashamed of that person? That person had enough strength. That person had enough courage. That person had enough anger at sometimes, or they had enough inspiration by somebody to change to be the person that you are today. So why would you be ashamed of that person? That person had far more strength than you got right now. Because that person had to do something. They actually had to do it. Now, as the, as the new person, the person that you feel like is presentable for the world, the person that you feel like you can hide behind, that person ain't got nothing to do but walk. Walk in. They ain't got no work to do. It's the other person back there that you're ashamed of. They had to do all the work. What? Mm-hmm. So you'll be ashamed of the person. Well, recognize and knew that there was a problem. Change themselves, make themselves better to become who you are today. But you're saying to that person back down. For what? For what? That person back there do all the work. I've said this many, many times to y'all in my videos. I love the person I was back down. Like I said, because that person back there recognized that there was a problem. That person back there had to do all the work for me because the person I am today. I love the person I am today because the person I am today is a lot better than that person that I was back there. It is. And then I love the person that I'm going to be because I know with God's help, I can't do nothing but get better and better and better. So don't ever discount your test. Hey, that produces your testimony. Don't do that. Hey, thank you, Lord. Mm -mm. Don't discount your test. That produces your testimony. That's the word right there that I want you to make sure that you take it all in. Don't discount your test. That produces your testimony. You know what I'm saying? I thank God for my test. I do. I thank God for my test. My test made me a better husband. My test made me a better father. My test made me a better person. So I ain't gonna be ashamed of my test. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm just saying my test. I know y'all saw them, but everybody have tried different things. Everybody's emotions, everybody's feelings, everybody's desires are different. They all are. God made us all different for a purpose. He did. He made Chinese people. He made Vietnam, Vietnamese people. He made black people. He made white people. He made Filipino people. He made Africans. He made Germans. He made Britons. God made all different kind of people. He didn't want us all to be the same. Or he would have made us all the same. It would have been very easy for God to make everybody black. Or everybody white. Or everybody Chinese. It would have been just easy for him to do it. It would have been just as easy. But the reason why he didn't. Mm, mm, it's because that ain't the way he wanted it. He wanted diversity. And that's what I'm telling you about your test. Everybody has a diverse test from everybody else because no one walks the same walk in life. I don't care if you're identical twins. You do not walk the same walk. You can't breathe the same air that somebody else breathes. Every breath that I take, you can't take. Even if you sit beside, even if you join with me, you will be getting air from over here and I'm going to be getting air from over here. So everybody has a unique and diverse test. God needed all of those tests, every one of those tests, to become a testimony because there's somebody that's in the same test that you're in right now. Somebody is still in that same test and they're striving and looking hard for a reason to make their test be a testimony. That's you. Your testimony creates testimony. So once again, don't ever discount your test. Hey, 
that produces your testimony. Now I'm thinking about it again. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed. I really, really do. So I'm a new lead gen. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I truly appreciate you because you did not have to be here. You could have chose to be the worst in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm my sister Lee Jane. Hey, round and round where you go. Hey, round and round where you go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. <laughs> bye bye. Woo. Y'all, I feel it in my bones <coughs> that I didn't get that out right. Oh, uh -huh. but what I can tell you for sure is, baby, I can I am a sound and solid witness to let you know. I have countless amount of emails of people that have, and comments that what people have said, Lips, you help me with this. You know, Lips, your boldness in being who you are helped me to be better to myself. It helped me feel better about myself. Lips, I wanted to kill myself because I didn't know, because my family doesn't accept me because I'm gay. My mother put me out. My father turned his back on me. I have nowhere to stay. I was homeless for a while. All these things have went on that people have told me before. That through me sitting here, being a proud gay married man with a daughter, just speaking my own truth, my test, my testimony, that my testimony have helped them in their test. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever be ashamed of your test. You know what I'm saying? If you did it, you did it. If it happened, it happened. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not saying everybody. I'm not saying that this applies to everyone. But what I'm saying is that, no, yes you do. Everybody living, do you have done some things that you're not proud of? That's a part of becoming a responsible adult. You do things that you have to learn from to know not to do the next time. So why be ashamed of it? Why be ashamed of it? Why cower behind it? Why... Don't want to tell it. Want to cut it halfway. Uh, you know, don't want to let the real be the real. It's the test that causes the testimony. It's easy once you got it all fixed to jump up and say, oh, da, 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 and the Lord done, the Lord done. Okay, but what did the Lord do? Where were you at that the Lord brought you from? That's what helps people. Not that you fixed. Once you fixed, so you feel like you fixed anyway. Once you feel like you overcame that thing, you know what I'm saying? And you feel like that you're a better person now, that you're, a, you're proud of the person that you are now. Why wouldn't you be proud of that person back there? The person that you're trying to hide. Why wouldn't you be proud of that person? That person is the one that done all the work. The drug addict is the one that done all the work. You know what I'm saying? The thief is the one that done all the work. You know what I mean? I used to know some people in my life, y'all, when I lived in, especially when I lived in Louisiana, this is no lie, that I could want anything in the world that was in the store. I ain't had to do them make out a list. Get them a list and let them go get whatever it is I want. And they were going to bring back just what I wanted. The sizes, the color, sometimes shoes, it don't matter. They're called boosters, okay? So, um, but now this is the thing. <laughs> From having these boosters, I became a booster. I did. Um, and ain't nothing I'm proud of. It's not. But I'm not ashamed for Yeah, I used to steal. Yes, God. I did. Until one day, I just came to a conclusion that, Lord, you've been too good to me. And I'm not going to put my hands on nothing else that don't belong to me. And I haven't stole since that day. Since that day, I ain't stole nothing. I will go back in a store, drive back to a store if I have to. Uh, like if somebody make a mistake and don't charge me for something, you know, that kind of stuff. Now I ain't going to say like if they charge me the wrong price, I'm not going to say that I'm going to run up and just, you know, I mean, because that may be a blessing. I'm not going to do all that. As long as I didn't steal it. You know what I'm saying? As long as it wasn't my mistake that I, it was in my heart to steal something. I've never touched anything since that day. Because God's been too good to me. But I'm not ashamed 
that I used to steal. I'm not ashamed of that. I paid my bills for about six, <laughs> six, seven months off being roguish. Walmart, Stage, them places don't owe me nothing. They, I don't, I don't owe me nothing. If I don't shop nowhere but Walmart and pay, and they overcharge me for the rest of my life, they don't owe me nothing. They don't owe me nothing. They don't. But I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not ashamed. That was my test. And I went through that test to give you a testimony. So don't ever, once again, don't ever discount your test. If I hadn't went through that, I may have just not started stealing at this age. You know what I'm saying? And if I hadn't went through that test, I may not have learned back then who not to be today. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all gotta go. I gotta go. I feel like you get the picture. I don't know if I got it right, but don't ever discount your test because that produces your testimony. That's what God needs to help other people in your same situation. I gotta go. Bye, y'all. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call it like a cherry. Call it. Call it like a cherry. The boy that switched up on you. Before I got started. <laughs> okay, all the lights on. All right, here we go. Not being, yep, okay. I'm ready to eat too. Wait, 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 y'all. You guys know, if this is your very first time on this channel, run and subscribe for me. After you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you will be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of there's some things that we do, and we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, Come in like a share and don't take for the team. Come in like a share and don't take for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come like a share. Okay, you gotta check that. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get into goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today, baby? That light right there. Angle it back some more. I think I got a shadow. Yeah. With the neck. Go back some more. Right there. Back that one up a little bit too. Please. Hold on, y'all. For some reason, right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we're not ready to pray. Over to the side. We got, oh, before I forget, you guys, we have our coldest water bottle, okay? Our coldest water bottle. There's a link in the description box below if you want one. Go down there and hit that link. Put in the discount code L L I P S Lips, and they'll give you ten percent off of your entire order. Okay. Also, on the side, we got Just Ben. Just Ben is here. Just Ben is here to see you today. There you go. There you go. There you go. Just Ben still ain't got nothing in him but water. That's all he got. We're about to wrap up the thirty day number water, but I've been enjoying this water, so I think I'm gonna keep drinking. Let's see if he's nice refreshing. Hmm. Ah. He is. Also, here to the side, I got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, the web top three stars in blue, hit that link in right there. You can get your lip tie sauce. And merch. Okay. Y'all, I'm ready to eat those. Over here to the side, I got my Smoky Mountain Cha Cha, the hotter than hell Cha Cha. And I got my Miss Campbell's. I think I'm going to go with Smoky Mountain. So I got my Smoky Mountain Cha Cha over here as well. You guys, we got this on our way to. Um, North Carolina with Sam Grass somewhere. Somewhere in between North Carolina and Florida. Anyway, let's go. The, oh, today for the food. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready. So anyway, today for the food. Okay, so over here we have got some braised pig feet with a tomato and onion and parsley. Ah, just ooky gooky good. Pig feet. Over here we got uh, some uh, fried cabbage, some fat back. And some rutabaga. We got a jalapeno in the middle. We got a hot sauce over here, y'all. Everything on this plate gonna be eaten with my hands. So this is going to be a treat of for why. Braised pig feet, y'all. Braised pig feet. Okay. 
Uh-huh. And everything and everything and everything. We got some cha-cha here. I'm gonna put a, put us some over here because I, I I want that taste today. You know. Uh, I wanted some vinegar, but that changed my mind about that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, let's get to eat. I got some hot sauce already on it. Okay. I'm gonna try to see. I don't think I can pick this pig feet up, y'all. Oh, but anyway, there he is. He's a big one. Anyway. Mm, mm, I'm dropping stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Baby. Oh. Y'all ain't got my tray for my bones or nothing. That's all right. Let's go. I'm gonna eat. I ain't even try to pick this. Oh, oh. Woo! Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. Mmm. 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 Y'all know, because mm, my allergy with the tomatoes, anytime I get a pick, oh. Y'all look at him. He braised. Uh huh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. With my allergies, mmm. So, ripe red tomatoes. You know, I have to cook my tomatoes before I can eat them. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 I hear somebody's cabbage and root bay over here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey, you about to got a piece of fat back in there for you. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all it tastes just like I wanted it to. They did. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. It tastes just like I wanted it to, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, I hope you had mm, 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 mm. a wonderful Memorial Day. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I hope you guys had a lovely mother's, um, I said mother's day. Memorial day. Mm. I really do. Mine was okay. Well, today is Memorial day for me. Mine has been okay. I slept. Me and the baby both. We both basically slept all day. Mm-hmm. We wake up. Mm. Mm. And go right on back to bed, honey. It was that type of day. Mm. 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 Y'all, I wish y'all could taste this flavor with these pig feet being braised and then. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's all, hubby. I gave him a can of uh, tomato. I told my stick, take them, put a tad bit of sugar in, a half an onion, some parsley, and make a sauce, you know, to go on top of it, so to speak. Mm. Mm. Because I wanted that pork and tomato taste in my mouth. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. But I had just eight big ears. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, it was that type of day for us, y'all. Memorial Day was. Mm. So I wasn't really happy or sad. I was just content with the day. Mm-hmm. I was very content with today. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. 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 I slept like I said most of the day, y'all. I don't think I got up for good. Mm. It's about four o'clock. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I was going to you know, just get out, take a smaller walk. Mm. You know, we just kind of talked to God in my head a little bit. Mm. And by the time I got ready to do it, it was raining outside, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm. Are y'all a piece of pig feet? There you go. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. 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 Mm-
But that's how it's out. Mmm. 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 They're making these cabbage. Super busting. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. So, y'all, the year is going on. Mmm. -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 May is over with y'all. May is over. Mm. 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 Let me tell y'all something we're gonna try. I ain't gonna say when, but we're gonna try it soon. Mm. I saw Cold Way Bean. Oh, that water good. I saw Cozo AB, y'all. Eating, which somebody had, y'all have said something to me before about it. But I, uh, mm, 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 mm. I just kept skipping over it or whatever. But I saw Cozo AB eat some, some coffee. Mm-hmm. They look delicious. Mm-hmm. Mmm, they look decent. I've never cooked them before. Mmm, I don't know if hubby has or not, but you can believe me. I got people to call about anything, especially country, eat glory. Mmm-hmm, to learn how to cook it. But it looked delicious. It really did. I'm attacking this captain stuff, it's so good. Mmm-hmm. So how y'all been doing that? Well, how y'all been doing? Mm. I'm going to tell you something now about this Memorial Day that was good for me. Mm -hmm. You know how sometimes in life you have stuff going on. You got to tell you all the time stuff is going on in both sides. Honey. It's going on. Mm -hmm. The time ain't stopping for nobody. But in life, you know how sometimes you get so busy and so wrapped up in life itself? And sometimes on some days, you can just come up and have an epiphany, you know, about certain things in your life. Mm, mm. Certain things you already knew. You knew to do. Mm, 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 mm. You know your life would be better if you did. Mm. Well, I had an epiphany about... Mm, 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 mm. Some things in my life that, you know, for my betterment, it took me so long to come to the conclusion or conclusions mm, 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 to take action on what I knew I needed to do for my own life. So, I did have a lot of reflective time today, I guess, when I wasn't asleep, you know. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, it's good. Y'all see them onions and stuff in them. Baby, that's good. But anyway, I've been telling my husband all day long that I'm so looking forward to, you know, new journeys, new paths in life. You know? Mm, 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 mm. I really, really am. Mm. And them things are God. And some people live their whole life being a fool, you know. Mm. Mm. So a lot of things. I just thank God that, you know, He did give me the wisdom and the strength to be able to, mm. Mm. you know, follow His direction and do what needs to be done for life. Period. It doesn't matter to me what, no matter what it's about. It could be YouTube, life itself. It could be about my relationship. I try my best to take heed 
to whatever God condemns me for or whatever revelation that he gives me. It ain't the same with everybody. Mm, it never will be. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. God didn't make it for everybody to understand my road that I got to travel. Mm. They didn't. It's just like he didn't. Mm. 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 He gave us the spirit of empathy and sympathy to try, you know, mm. Mm. to understand, or at least to have compassion mm. Mm. for other people in their walk. But a lot of people find that hard. Mm. A lot of people don't even want to see your struggle. But what I can't understand is if a person is trying to tell you that your struggle is ungodly and it's so wrong, when the God and you supposed to show up? Baby, I told you, bring me that brush, sit it, brush my face. That's saying, um, where the godliness in you? God was an action type of God. Mm. Mm hmm. He showed you his love. Mm hmm. I guess that's why a lot of people, you know, because I get it all the time because I'm gay. You know, a lot of people always have something to say about you or me or people mm -mm 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 -mm. claiming or loving God, but living. You know, mm, 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 the lifestyle that I do. And my question is always the same. Why would, even if, if you witness, and this is about anything in life, y'all. It, it ain't just got to be about being gay or anything. If you are God fearing, a God loving person, God touches your heart. He has to. Mm, mm. Mm. If you don't accept him as your personal savior. So with that being said, if you didn't accept the God as your personal savior, you wouldn't have time to talk about me or ridicule me. Mm. Because out of the love in your heart, you would be trying to help me. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you truly felt. Faith without work is dead. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So to me, mm, mm, y'all are so good. I keep getting myself into these deep kind of conversations lately, but really want to eat the food at the same time. Hey, Lord. And you know they tell me all the time, uh, let's talk about eating. Honey, this ain't the show for you. If you want, I mean, I'm going to eat. I eat. Mm-hmm. Sometimes my stomach will let me eat better than the other times. I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. But what well, I do know for sure, before I get myself entwined in another conversation, because I do that, <laughs> have two or three thoughts and conversations going at the same time. That's the challenge that you're on. You know what I mean? But my point is to this particular situation here. I don't have time with the love in my heart for other people. Mm -hmm. I don't have time in my heart mm -hmm. to down, rate you, talk about you, um, try to judge you or put you in the heaven and hell that I do not have to put you in. I don't have time to do that because the Bible says if you know better, you're supposed to do better. And so if you love God, anything that you see that your brother is doing is wrong, or that you feel like you have a better knowledge of, mm, mm, mm. even if it's stealing, even if it's whoremongering, even if it is adultery, even if it is whatever, if you know better, and you love God, you should be the type of person that wants to go to that person and help them. As opposed to trying to make their life more difficult by talking about them. I don't even know how I got in this conversation. Mm. But anywho. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Mm. You know you're on the right channel, right? Mm hmm. But I guess that's the part that I don't understand about people who swear that they like, that they write, and their life is so whatever. How could you think that? And you don't have the willingness to have empathy and sympathy for some, anybody else's situation. Mm. 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 They want to help. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Anyway, let me go back to say how y'all doing today. How is y'all doing, honey? Lay in the video, your food is good, honey. It's buffing, buffing. Mm -hmm. What did y'all have for y'all memorial day? Because I'm going to get out there soon because I feel myself. Mm -hmm. I get worked up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's too late in the video to get worked up, honey. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's too late in the video to get worked up. Mm -hmm. I'm back full. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I hope that you guys' Memorial Day was fantastic. I really, really do. I hope it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all those who have loved ones, mm -hmm. they have gone on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were in the military service. I have an uncle myself. We do want to salute them. Mm-hmm. And tell them, we'll make sure that they know that we are thankful to what they've done for our country. Happy Memorial Day to you all. And y'all, I want to ask y'all for a favor too. Mm. We have a Legion member, Deborah Lee. Mm. Deborah Lee, that recently, like I told you, I lost her mom. Mm, mm, mm. I talked to her yesterday, and she was, was on my mind all day today, and she called me. And I knew she was going to call me because I talked to her yesterday, but I was asleep. Um, so I didn't get to talk to her. But I want to ask y'all, 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 please, she'll be in the comments, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Then y'all please put in a special prayer for Deborah Lee because she's actively going through it. Mm. The cycles that you go through when you lose a parent, when you lose your mom, and it's not easy. It wasn't easy for me, y'all. Um, my husband tried, you know, to support me and be there for me when my mom died, but. It's just really not a lot of comfort that anyone else can really give to you. You just have to go through those stages and those cycles. And she's actively in it, y'all. And she's a strong person. So she's doing her best to deal with it and try to understand her feelings. And she's praying hard, y'all. So y'all just pray with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know we can do about the cycle. I know we can do about the cycle, y'all. She's going to have to go through the cycle, but at least we can lighten the load for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Make sure she's got prayers going up for her from everywhere. Um, so God can mm, mm, come in and give her some comfort in her heart. Because that's what it takes. Okay. Y'all think it out of him. This is really, really good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is really, really good. A brave pig feet, honey. With tomato and onion. Mmm. 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 Get up on it. You see, I can't stop licking my finger. This is good. Anyway, y'all, I'm finna go. I'm finna go. Don't forget about to call this water bottle. Uh huh. If you like you one, they have it in all kind of cool uh, new colors and stuff and everything. You don't have to just get the standard blue, white, black, and anything like that. And they got yellows, greens, all kind of stuff. Go ahead and look at that. A link down there. The first one is the giveaway. Mm -hmm. The second one is the one that you order one on. Put in the discount code LIP. LIP as I saw it. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. mm. And they'll give you 10% off of your, your entire order. I'm still eating y'all because it's good. Yeah. Anyway, let me get my face here together. So we can get about here, y'all. Once again, happy Memorial Day to you all. Um, to all of the active military. Um, that are still here amongst the land of living with us. 
we salute you and we are proud of you and we thank you for your service um, for defending this great American Republic, okay? We love you so, so much. We truly do. We love each and every one of you guys. I enjoy y'all today. I enjoy y'all every day, but I enjoy it. Mm, mm. I'm having some company today. I did. I'm glad you tuned in. Mm -hmm. mm. Now I'm get to pray for Deborah Lee. She'll be in the comments at some point. I'll pin the comment that she puts up whenever she watches the video. And y'all, just let her know that we support her and we're praying for it every day. And that everything is all well. Mm. Even if it ain't all well, y'all, baby. Let me pick me up by my nails. I got to get off here and wash my hair. Anyway, we need to let her know. We're all is well, even though all is not well. But all is well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's be praying with them. Y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. I'm going to go up and go up and go. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do tell my newly jam. Thank you guys so, 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 so much. So much for being here. Because you did not have to be here. You could have chose to be with us in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, and we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm existing, DJ. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Uh-uh. Hold on, y'all. Oh, man. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Always remember, as it's always more than one way home. All you just have to do is get there. So get there, people. Who get there? I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Baby. Baby. My stomach is full. My stomach is so full. Oh. Oh. My stomach is full, y'all. It is. My stomach is full. Y'all. June is here. Y'all know my bet with my family to see who's going to lose the most weight. Ends on July 4th. Mm -hmm. Y'all, they don't know it, but we in the game. Mm -hmm. They don't know it. You see, you see. I mean, I'm just saying. We in the game, they don't know it. I'm trying to win $600. I know 600 Yeah, something about like $600. Mm -hmm. Well, really, five, because my hundred will stay with me. Uh huh. Uh huh. They playing around, but I ain't, your boy ain't playing. I ain't playing. I ain't. That water has really, really helped. It really helped. Anyway, I'm going to go. I love y'all. I didn't went to talking again, honey. I didn't went to talking. I love y'all. I love you so much. I truly do. And I really kind of wanted to stay with y'all a little bit longer today. But y'all, I cannot stand for anything to be up under my nails. Like, for real. I have to keep them clean. Like, it's a phobia. It's my OCD just... You see, I can't stop picking it. Anyway, and that's the thing because they're getting longer. Um, I decided that I was going to let them grow this time. And I wasn't going to cut them out. Um, you know, because I normally make them long or let them grow out long, because these are my own nails. Of course, most of you knew that. This go around, you know, because we've had them and then we've lost them, we broke them and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I did take the time to cut them off and allow them to get back healthy so that I could grow my own nails back and not have to put, you know, the acrylic tips or anything on top of them. So, with that being said, I haven't worn them long in a long time. So this feeling of something being stuck up under them right now is unnerving me because, you know, they're just now starting to get long. So with that being said, um, I gotta go. <laughs> Cause I go clean my nails, I go put them in the water. Uh, the best way to clean your nails, I don't care, I don't care what, who you are and where you are, what's going on, the best way to clean your nails is white dishes. You get all, baby, baby. anyway, you'll figure out, um, never mind, I don't even know why I went in there. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta get out here y'all for real because my nails being dirty by now, it feels different for me. Um, because I haven't had that long in a while. But you know what? Y'all, I'm rambling on. I love y'all. Don't forget to go visit the Buffet Mm-hmm. All mm. their links in the description right below. And y'all, we can get about here. For real. I love y'all. I'm going to say thank you to everyone that watched the uh, Buffet Bull production. Mm -hmm. We're currently working on another one for you right now. 
Um, mm, mm. But thank you for all your support. Mm -hmm. Y'all see, I'm just, I just keep going right back to eating those. And that's the thing. When this camera goes live, camera action, I just be going on eating. Like, sometimes I be full, sometimes I don't. But I, if y'all finna go, I'm finna go. Cause I, look, bye y'all. I love y'all. I love you guys so, so much. I sure you do. I'm gonna see y'all next time, okay? Bye bye. Man, look, I done went talking three, four more times. My brain just scattered him. So did you. This was mighty good, though. Oh my God, it was mighty good. I need to wash my hands. I'm ready to wash my hands. Get up here. I'm trying. <laughs> My head is sending signals to my body and saying, move. But my stomach is saying, I just need to sit here a little while long. Oh, I feel heavy. I ate so much. Let me see how that food I ate. Oh, it was good. Somebody put a message today on in the comments when we did that seafood video when you was like, um, you know, you was like, after you ate the first few minutes, you was like, I can't do it no more. And you really never eat them on the video. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna say in the uh, comments, gonna say, yeah, Lucy is, is smart. Lucy is trying to watch her figure. She ain't finna eat about that food. She's just gonna let you eat. <laughs> you know what my response was? Dumb, and no matter how much of it is, Lucy is still loving her and ain't glory. <laughs> so I can be safe and eat whatever I want. Anyway, y'all finna, Stay I'm still, right. bye y'all, bye. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Count it like a cherry. Count it. Count it like a cherry. The boy done switched up on you. Count it like a cherry. Alright, it's hot. It's raining. Come on, boo. I got mine. It's, okay. Alright. Thank you. Is this open yet? And I ain't got no lip gloss on either. Jesus. Let go. Mm. How about, I ain't got none of that mango. I already got it. I ain't got none of that mango sauce in there, do I? Mango, no. I, got I, need, I need to go and get some of these. I know. You should go. Yo, give me a spoonful. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're a part of it, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and don't take for the team. Comment like a share and don't take for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, you got to check this out. We're going to pray. We're going to get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over to the side. Just being is here today. Just being is here. Just being is here to see you because he ain't been here in a while, huh? And he is ready to see you. He says, hello. Okay, let's just be ain't got nothing in him but H2O, nothing but water, because we still somewhere on the third day of the water on Lips Channel. Let's see if you're not your fridge. Mm. Ah. He is also on to this. I don't know, also hit to the side. I got my lip tie out. If you like your bottle of whipped ice cream, blue, hit that link in right there and you can get your lip tie out. And I hurt. Okay, you guys, today for the food, baby. We got this big old ham steak, big old country ham steak right here, fried and dyed, laid to the side of here. We got some breakfast sausage. We got some bacon, crispy bacon. Who we make that bacon for himself on their glory? Okay, and over here we have got some fried eggs. Down here we got some scrambled eggs, and we have got some biscuits over here to the side. I have got some jelly over here, salt and pepper, and I have got some salsa. Okay, and that's what we're working with, honey. Mm-hmm, that what we working with. Okay, let me give me some jelly because I want to get into this biscuit first time. 
Mm-hmm. Y'all, these are cheese biscuits. Kind of like you get um at uh what's the name of the place? Uh uh the place. Olive Garden. Is that right? Red lobster. Okay, here we go. There you go. There go the biscuit. There go the biscuit, y'all. Oh, let's get us some jelly up here for right I've been waiting on this biscuit. Oh, I'm so ready for it. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 This bacon crispy, y'all. Y'all know I like my bacon kind of floppy. Mm-hmm. That's still good, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just crunchy, honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put me some pep on my egg. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. And I got a little sauce over here. Mmm. For these fried eggs up here, honey. Got a little sauce for them. Mmm. Mmm. The hubby and his family don't put salt and stuff like this just to change a bit because I gotta have a little salt. Not his family, I'm just saying. Hubby don't put much salt. Mmm. In things. That's what I should have said. He don't put much salt in things, honey. Y'all got grape jelly on the biscuit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 So, hubby nuked it in the microwave. Mm hmm. To make sure that I can eat it. Mm hmm. And y'all see the big old steak, the big old ham. Mm hmm. I don't know if that works because I already got the sauce down there, but anyway. Y'all see the big old piece of ham, honey? Mm hmm. I wish it had some fat around the outside of it, you know. Mm hmm. That's what I was saying. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That is the new set. Mm hmm. But I'll go to that interested. Mm hmm. So how y'all doing this Friday, honey? How y'all doing? Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's good. All right. For everybody, mm. Mm. today, y'all know, yeah, yeah, so it's going to be Friday. So today, we are going to the Savannah Westbrook, or uh, Westbrook Cabaret. <clears throat> here in Atlanta. So, I live, it's not open until 9, and I have to drive home, so our live will be a little late tonight, okay? It'll be a little late, but we are going. God wouldn't say certain Creek don't ride. Mm. And we don't get invited to an like after party or something while we're there. I don't know if it's going to be an after party this time. Mm -hmm. mm. But providing nothing happens, we will be live tonight. It'll just be a little later than normal. Like it won't be like at 9 o'clock Eastern. It may be at 10. You know. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Y'all love me for breakfast. I can eat breakfast for lunch, dinner. I love breakfast. Mm. Mm. It is one of the most universal or Mm. It's the meal of the day. 
Or you can eat at any time of the day. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. It don't matter when you eat breakfast. Mm hmm. You all good, honey. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it's good, too. Mm hmm. So, we are wrapped up. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the Coast Water Bottle. You got the Coast Water Bottle over here. Hit that link. L L I P S. Put it in your. Oh, look, y'all. There is two links in the description box. One is a giveaway, and one is the link to order the bottle, okay? So, when you order the bottle, you can put in the discount code L L I P S. Lips! They'll give you 10% off of your entire one, okay? I keep forgetting about that. I keep forgetting about our Coast Water Bottle, honey. And some of y'all been ordering them. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Mm hmm. Because when you order, I can see it. Well, I can. They alert me that someone has ordered one. Mm hmm. So I appreciate that, honey. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm This makes our third or fourth time doing that sponsorship. Uh, we do well at every time, so thank y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all want some bacon. It's crispy, honey. But it's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. So look, we have wrapped up. That's what I was finna say while I go. We have wrapped up the three in the city. Mm-hmm. About the Muck Bang Bulls. Y'all, I enjoyed that. I did. I enjoyed that collaboration with the Muck Bang Bulls. I really, really did. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If you miss anybody's video from that three in the scene, go watch y'all. Mm hmm. Once again, we had very, very diverse meals. Mm hmm. From each other, you know. Other than a Big Mac doing fish tacos and Shani doing breakfast tacos, but added shrimp. Um, most of everything was totally different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of everything, of course. Me, Shani, and Sam were all three did fried, but Shani did fried. Um, fish. I mean, Sam did a whole fried boil. Mm. Mm-hmm. Which was delectable. Mm. Y'all, it was some good looking dishes presented, honey. Your yeah, eggs over it. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. There was some fabulous looking dishes presented. They really, really was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And nephew Sam Sorry, he has a new channel. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's a cooking channel. And if you go over her channel and watch her first day, everything that she's eating, he cooks. And um I'm gonna put his channel link in the description box below. Y'all go support, support, support. Mm-hmm. But I keep his skin cooked. He can cook. So, y'all, go support, support, support. Go support Kibo. <laughs> Sam's going to say Kibo. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that link in the description box below, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'll probably share mm, one of his videos in the description box. Not the description box. In the community box. Okay? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Sam's World's first meal that she ate on the three in the city. I think that's the video he got up. Okay, so I'm gonna share that video in the community post as well. Y'all go support nephew. Mm hmm. Go support nephew, honey. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Y'all, that's good. That's good. I love Friday. I only have scrambled eggs up here because I know when somebody won't say, I don't like my eggs like that. Okay. Mm hmm. So I put you some scrambled up here as well. 
Y'all, the rain's gone. It rained for two days here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. It rained for two days. So, that was amazing. You know, to get some rain. Mm hmm Because it had been so hot. Like, it had been so hot. Mm -hmm. And it's right back in there. Because I got up and went outside today. Around 11.30. And when I walked out the door, I told my husband, I said, uh, it's not hot out here. He said, sorry, it was out, baby. I didn't get away from that door. <laughs> Ten steps. And baby, that song was on the head. Hey, baby, it sure was. So it was red back hot. Red back, like snap bite. You know? It was right back hot. Mm-hmm. You know, after a good rain for two days to calm everything down, cool everything down, get the pollen, you know, you know that kind of thing. It seems like it should be a gradual build back up to so all that heat. Mm, 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 mm. But nope. Right back in. Mm-hmm. Hey, hon. That's just what it's going to be. You know, we already talked about that. I believe that this summer is going to be a roaster, for real. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 So y'all, y'all be praying. Some of y'all know and check on my sister. Um, you know, have been you know asking me and checking on my sister. She is out of the hospital, um, but um, she's got to go back for more testing. Um, right now. Y'all, we need y'all prayers for that, for real. We really do call it. What they saying is possibly the problem at this at this moment, which I'm not going to speak out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I refuse to accept it until God says so. Mm -hmm. I refuse to accept it until God says so. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a trick of the trick of the enemy. Mm-hmm. The trick of the enemy, honey. So, mm -hmm. continue to pray with me. Mm-hmm. Continue to pray with me and my family. You know. Mm. That water, you know, it's good. Your salt. Mm. Pooh State is officially. I assume for the summer. Mm hmm She is so happy. Which, um, you know, most kids are always happy to get out of school. Pooh's like, I think, are just happy to be out of school because next year she knows she's gonna get to go face to face. Mm-hmm. She prefers to go to the building. She does. Matter of fact, we started out last year with her going face to face because this is what she wanted to do and she is well versed and well groomed as far as what to do as far as COVID goes, you know. So everything worked out pretty well. Um but because we traveled so much, you know, maybe a quarter way into the year, we uh switched her out and put it back on virtual. So Um, she's not just overly ecstatic about that, honey. She would rather go and see the teacher. You know, go to class, you know. Which I can't say I blame her, you know. She's nine. And during those years, that's when you start building, you know, friendships. Um, because when I was nine, you know, you know, people I was in class with at nine years old, I graduated with from high school, you know. So, um, and then you're old enough to start becoming, you know, your own individual person at that time, too. So, 
So she would rather go. So she's gonna get to go next year. Uh, next year. And that's why she's glad she out. Mm-hmm. That just makes it that much quicker that she's gonna get back. She loves school. You know, cause I'm, she's always done straight A. She's always had straight A. Mm-hmm. So thank for the God thus far. Hopefully it'll never change. Uh, we ain't gonna have no problem with her in schooling. Hopefully, hopefully. Mm hmm. Hopefully we won't have no problem with that legion. Hey. Hopefully, hey. Mm hmm. Hopefully, she'll carry that on. You know, through high school and college. I hope so. Yeah, I want this meat up and around this bone right here. I want that out of there. That'd be the best meat, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's on any, any piece of meat. Mm-hmm. Mm. <clears throat> the meat right against a bone. A baby. Say it's a bone right there. <clears> Hold <throat> oh, no. up. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, mm him. -hmm. About to get choked out, lady boss. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. mm y'all, it's so good. It's so good. Y'all don't forget, like I said, all the mukbang bulls. The links in the description box below. If you miss any of the videos from the three in the sea, honey, go see that. There was some diverse meals, because we did the clam ball first. And then we oh, excuse me y'all. And then we did a scallop and shrimp D shells, you boo boy. And then the finale, we did a six meat surfing turf. Fried chicken, fried crab, fried shrimp, fried scallops, fried catfish, and what was the other one? Fried catfish, fried shrimp, fried scallop. Huh. Shrimp, scallop, catfish, king crab, um, oh, lots of tails. Lots of tails and fried chicken. That's what we had. Mm-hmm. The six meat, a serpent turf. Baby, we're good, too. Yes, Lord. We had the QTQ sauce from Eat With Q channel. Oh, glory. Mm-hmm. That girl, I know that sauce is good. Oh. Mm-hmm. We had the Eat With Q sauce. Baby, that was. Baby. That was the business. And then, like I said, Sam's where she did stuffed lobster the first day. Stuffed lobster and stuffed uh, seafood potatoes. And the second day, she did fried uh, seafood. She had uh, crappy and anything, any and everything you think of. Uh, her fried seafood, um, it looked wonderful. And then day three, Sandra had a huge uh, seafood bowl, regular seafood bowl, and she had this one that's sauce. And it looks so good. Her nephew Jordan over there looks so good, honey. I ordered me two more. It's one salt. Eat glory. Mm. So anyway, um, like I said, you look shining. The first day, she did she did breakfast, lunch, and dinner with her. So for breakfast, she had uh, breakfast tacos with shrimp in them. And for lunch, she had a uh, crawfish and roasted turkey. Um, Salad. So for dinner, she had fried catfish. Fried fish. Mm-hmm. She did. It looked amazing. She always can get Shawnee can always get a piece of catfish. That big of this ham piece. It always be so big and thick. Mm-hmm. Big Mac. I had fish tacos the first day. The second day. Big Mac had these wraps from his place out there. I think he's in Fresno. Out there in Fresno where he is. I think he's in Fresno. I'm not sure, but I think he is. But, um, um, yeah, the first day he had the wrap. I mean, that was the second day. He had them wraps from his place out there in Fresno that looked delicious. He had a veggie wrap. I love me a veggie. I love, oh, baby, I love a veggie wrap. I love a veggie soup. I love anything bitch like that bitch pizza. Mm-hmm. I love all that, honey. So I do. 
And then the last day, mm, 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 he had Chinese with walnut shrimp and uh, some kind of fried chicken or something, something like that uh, from Panda Express. Mm -hmm. You know, they had that roasted fried chicken or whatever. You had that. That was, that was, oh, it looked amazing. The colors were so bright and, and you know, nutritious looking. You know, I love me a good bright vegetable, even though I, most of my vegetables I cook all the way down. But I love me a good bright vegetable, honey. So it was a nice production. Like, everybody had something diverse. Everybody had something different. Everybody's food looks good. Um, so go check it out. Like I said, all their links in the description right below. And I'm finna get up out of here, y'all. I'm finna go. A hubby. I'm finna get out of this bitch, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm finna go, y'all. We love y'all. But we got some things to do. Actually, we don't. We do what we gotta do. Get ready to go. Where we going? Oh, Savannah, that's tonight. I'm talking about today. We really ain't got nothing to do, honey. I ate up all this food, honey. All this food be done went through me, honey, and I be done out of um, uh, my stomach be done went back down from being puffy and everything. From uh, putting all this food and everything and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Y'all, I hope you guys have some beautiful weather where you are. I do. You just gave me a brain fart. Like I had to think, think about what you were talking about. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, we hope you all having up some magnificent weather where you are. Like it is hot. But it's also gorgeous outside. Like, it's gorgeous. And today, like I told you, I had went outside. And today, y'all, I seen some big, I think what you call them is river birds. They say they ducks, but baby, them ain't no ducks. Them is river birds. Like, them big, big ducks. They look like ducks, but them ain't ducks. Ducks ain't they be. These look like some ducks. Mixed with some sp uh, swans or something else. Some what the most thing in them pink things? Them the with the big, with the with the, the flamingos, like the big ducks, tall like flamingo, big like a swan, but a duck, river ducks, mm -mm -mm. river birds, goose, wait, goose, your geese, baby, them don't look like no geese. <laughs> <laughs> baby, them look like uh, champions of the rodeo or something. I mean, big ducks making this. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was they was over there fighting, honey. I don't know if it's main season went for geese. Baby, them don't look like no geese. It don't look like nail goose. I didn't see, honey. These is big, like they are huge. Uh uh, like for real. I'm tall. I'm six foot three and a half myself. These ducks are so big they will stand up at least to my. At least to my waistline. Like big ducks. And then there ain't no skinny ducks. These big ducks. Oh, glory. Uh -uh. Hubby said geese, honey. I say river birds, river monsters, something else. I don't know. Uh, this is a lake close to our home. And, um, baby, uh -uh. they don't look like no geese to me, honey. That thing is too big. And you're making this off guard off the sound. <clears throat> and so I went to where the sound was. Knows it. Mm -hmm. Very much so knows it. But I want to know. It sounded like the way it sounds like somebody over there eating a dog or something. You know, it was a mess. But I went over there and it was these big river birds. Mm -mm. That's all I can say, honey. It's tall like a flamingo. Big. You know, like it's big. For real. Mm -mm, I can't do that one. But it looks like a duck, though. Anyhow, I'm finna go. I'm finna go, y'all. I am. I'm finna go. And I hope you guys have enjoyed our review. I hope you have enjoyed. So I'm my newly Jan. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you because you do not have to be here. You could have chosen to be the rest of the world, but you chose to be right here with us. So we love you for it. So I'm my existing Lee Jan. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Okay? I am. Let me get me a little more water. Oh, look. I'm going to get back to third day of the water. On the Lips channel, I'm still going strong because I ain't drinking nothing but the H2O oh, and alcohol. Don't worry about it. Uh, don't forget our live is going to be a little late tonight because we're going to the Savannah Westbrook, um, the Savannah Westbrook, the Westbrook Cabaret drag show tonight. So the live will be a little late. Don't forget about your clothes water body. If you put in a discount code LLIPS, LIPS, they'll give you 10% off of your entire order. Mm-hmm. So everybody, y'all, I'm going to go. 
I'm finna get up out of here. I'm finna go, I'm finna go, I'm finna go. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look, always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you say to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Baby. Baby, them is not no, uh, what you call it, honey. Them things be fighting dogs and everything. They be fighting dogs. They're geese, yeah. And they don't fight fair either. They all try to attack at the same time. I but that lady with that, with that, um, that British, uh, you know, not that lady, that man that got that black British, British bull dog. Mm -hmm. Baby, they, uh-uh, they wasn't no match for it. That thing was slanging that thing, a slanging that thing, baby, but they was not dying. That cool. Cool with you. We said that shit. I hope I see. I'm gonna bring the pistol. I'm gonna bring the pistol because those are big ducks. We straight. Y'all bother me. Lies. Baby, and them some big ducks. I seen a dog, a British bulldog, grabbing him by the neck, slanging him. Baby, they was not running away. They was slanging out his mouth and ch -ch 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 and get back on their feet and come and rip it. Baby, that dog was handling them though. But anyhow, y'all, that's a river monster. I heard me say geese. <laughs> but that's a river monster. For real, they big, y'all. They step to my way. Anyway, y'all gotta go. I love y'all. And then they ain't scared of dogs. That's a river monster for real. Ain't scared of a dog. A big British bulldog. Like, for real. For real. They ain't even scared of they. Uh, I gotta go. I'm gonna see y'all later. Bye bye. Mwah.